Lee, so summer is here and it's time to whip out the dusty brides that you've been storing away in the garage and time to zhuzh them up a little bit. And with us we have Mr. Ryan Matchett, he's an industrial designer, is going to give us some great tips on how you can kind of just make your old bride new again. How are you, Mr. Ryan? Good, thanks. Yes. Cool, cool, you? cool. I can't complain. I'm very happy it's summer and, you know, especially happy that I can bry again, man. Winter's yeah. been a long winter. Yeah, it's <laughs> All right, so, so you're going to give us a few tips on taking your old brine and really just making them new. That's right. So what we're going to first do is we first clean it up a little. Okay. Uh, wet rag, bit of soap, water. Yeah. Just rub it down, make sure the area is nice and clean and ready to accept the paint. Perfect. So, so what, are, what are we going to use to actually paint? Because, I mean, this is a metal surface. Right. We're going to use uh, this uh, Duco spray product here. Right. Uh, made by Dulux. And, and that's a heat resistant spray. Actually. It's a heat resistant spray, exactly. Very cool. Comes in two colors, black and a silver. Yeah. So obviously for the, the silver legs of your bry and black yeah. for the main section. All right, so what are we going to do now, right now? What we're going to do is we're just going to mask up a little section here, um, all the way around to give us some sort of a decorative rim. Oh, um, nice. So it'll look like that when it's finished, but we mask the whole way around the, uh, yeah. the, the lid. <laughs> And then using a bit of black plastic bag or something, we just yeah, tape just it onto the onto the masking tape there, just so that we don't get paint on this side. Awesome. So when you're done, it looks looks like this. Look how cool that looks. It's got a silver rim. Very very cool. I mean, you can really impress some friends buying on this kind of thing. But that's not it. We are we're not done just yet. Not yet. All right. So what so we're going to do now is we're going to just put a, a a little stencil effect on here. Yeah. So we've cut out this stencil with the espresso logo on which yeah. we're going to then just put onto here quickly with some masking tape. Okay. The reason we, we're putting it onto this cardboard is just so that we don't get any excess spray onto the lid where we don't want it. Oh, okay. that's a very cool idea. Look at that. One more. So we've actually cut out the word espresso, which we're going to put on our bra, which we use afterwards to have our brew divorce. And that's it. Just like that. Ready All right, so, so now I need to see how <laughs> you're going to do this because when it comes to these things, I mean, you are the specialist. So that we just place on the bry where we want it to go. Yeah. There are different techniques to using the spray. You can either use the spray as a spray tin. Yeah. Or you can spray some into the lid and use a brush to just stipple it. To stipple it. You know, like this sort of effect here. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. What, what I like about this is you really don't need much in terms of equipment. So are we going to attempt this? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. There we go. So here's the spray here. I'll help you hold it. Just want to test it out here on the side. There we okay. go. So is it fine just like that? Let's go. All right. And then we just gently lift. If you can lift that side. Okay. Without moving it. There we oh, have man. Logo. You see something like that. Look at that. You get a rough espresso look right there. And what's nice is these, this paint will last. Exactly. Perfect stuff. It's very, very easy. I mean, you can do that at home. Just revamp your old bry with the Dulux's Duco. And there you have it, a brand new bry. How cool is that? Excellent. Awesome. Mr. Let's Magic. go bry. <laughs> Bring the ball, eh? <laughs> Shane. Go. Go. But of course, we also have a Dulux tip for you because what if you don't have an outside bry like that? Or you have an outside bry with paintable walls. We have a very cool tip with a product called Weather Guard. Very, very easy to use. What you just need to do is make sure to clean the surface, scrub the walls, make sure that there's no loose flakes of paint. Just get rid of extra bubbles under the paint surface by just scratching it off. If there's fung or any, any kind of uh, fungi on there, excuse me, you just treat it with a fungicide and you're just ready to paint. And it's also known to bridge hairline fractures up to two millimeters and it's got the ability to contract and extend with heat and cold. So very, very cool product, the weather guard to use as well to really make your outside bride looking very nice and neat. But of course, we're also giving away this very cool little Dulux dog. Don't forget about that. All you need to do is follow at Let's Color SA on uh, Twitter. And then once you spot the dog in the studio somewhere th um, throughout the rest of this morning, you just just tweet the dog's location to hashtag Dulux Dog Spotted and you could walk away with this very fluffy little dog. And there you have it. You have your brand new bride, just like the one we this man. I am just going to go and bride now. Great. I really hope you brought some stuff, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> awesome stuff. Leanne, what do you think of our awesome bride?